so I've been through a lot with my hair. Please don't mind my nails. I'm teaching myself how to do acrylics, so you know, did one hand but not the other. Lengthy process. But, um, yeah, my hair's been through a lot. Perms. Fucking, I bleached, dyed, and permed it within the same, like, two days. Like, I've been getting perms since I was a little kid. I never really cared for getting perms because the bitches burned really badly. And my mom would not let me take them out until them bitches was burning. And even when I told her, one time we got into an argument because it was fucking burning <laughs> so bad. And I was just like, Mom, it burns. And her husband at the time heard me say that. Is I guess she didn't, so like she just made me sit there, and I'm just like, Mom, it burns. And she was like, Why did you say nothing? I was like, I did. She was like, No, you didn't. And then her husband was like, Yeah, she did say it was burning. I'm like, Then why the fuck ain't you say nothing? Uh, and I had a scab like this big, two scabs like maybe this, this, and this big, just sitting there. And I had to get my hair braided like three days later. <laughs> We are about to let go of this anxiety and the false beauty standards and the dead hair. We're about to let it go. I'm scared. Like, I usually watch these videos of other people doing a big chop and I'm just like, bitch, it's just hair. You ain't scared. Cut that shit off in the video. But bitch, this is frightening. I'm about to be bald as fuck. Like, okay. All right. Let me take my ring off. I got these, <laughs> this pair of fucking little kid eye scissors. Okay. <laughs> Man, you know what I wish I had? One of those um, razors, you know, for actual hair cutting. All right, and I'm just gonna go right in. <laughs> the last time I did this, I was having a fucking, um, a huge fucking panic attack in sex in the bathroom. <laughs> Oh my God. All right, sit, sit that down. Oh. <laughs> uh, right, okay. I don't need this to be pretty at all because I am going straight motherfucking bald, baby. Bald as fuck. I want to thank my bitch, Ayana for a little bit of emotional support. Um, also, you know, Jada, she like, she pushed me a little bit to think about it. Um, yeah, that's it. The rest of you bitches, um, you know, and my best friends, obviously, best friends, obviously. But the rest of you bitches were like, no, you shouldn't do it. You already got a little bit of hair already. Like, bitch, actually, oh, I never got, I never get to see these tight curls in the middle of my head, but I love touching them and squeezing them. It's a delight to see them. See, the middle of my hair is better than the front because I bleached the front of my hair and then I started like poorly bleaching the back so a lot of the spots didn't get touched. But yeah, um, my boyfriend might be coming in and out of here talking shit. Yo, I have not had this little bit of hair in a long time, yo. I used to think I was bald headed, but I can barely even move this shit. Like, I was not bald headed at all. You bitches are just haters. You don't like to see a dark skinned woman win. Bitch, I'm about to bless my Instagram feed with this bald baby. Me being scared kind of just washed away with just a little bit of the anxiety is still there, but like I'm having a good time. I'm actually really cute. You know what? You know what, motherfucker? I'm really excited for all this shit to go. All this baggage. I've had this hair on my head <laughs> for years now, <laughs> bitch. I'm 19 years old. 19 years old, damn. Shit, I was just 11, yo. I would swear I was just 11. I'm at that. Y'all want me to be an adult, but all I know is fucking kid shit, like, and teen shit, like. And then schools don't even teach you much, like. Don't want to.
to teach me about real shit that I'm going to have to go through. This is crazy. Can we undo the shit? Oh, fine, I'm not going to have to cut this down before I can start hitting it with the razor. Because I'm going to put some shaving cream on my head and hit it with the razor. Wow, I've never seen myself with like this amount of hair before. That's crazy. Oh. We're gonna apply some of this only with one little part though, like here, and then we're going to get to the shaving. Is there a top on that? There's a top on that. This. <laughs> You know what? Come look. <laughs> I know. I'm. I am don't know what to do with the baby. <laughs> you gotta cut it all off first before you can start. Shaving. All of it? Yeah. Dang. Can we go to the store and get some scissors? <laughs> okay. Well, we better go to the store and get some scissors. I know he just said no, but bitch. We're going to the store and getting scissors. Bet y'all when I come back, I have a new pair of scissors. Do what I told y'all I was gonna go do. I'm obviously putting my cap on, so I'm not walking around the world like this. Oh my God, what if my hairline was like that? Oh my God. <laughs> Yo, it's just like, <laughs> I'm crying, I'll be back. I'm way to go get the scissors, I told y'all. <laughs> one better an uh, actual little thing that was only $18 and now I'm just giving me something to drink because I like love juice mm. what do I want I'm so indecisive before I came here I wanted some orange juice but now I'm like mm, sweet tea I love sweet tea I'm gonna make my choice and then I come back. Y'all don't need to. I'm back with a shirt change and the product at hand. I also got a pair of scissors just in case I did end up needing them. I can find them. All right. So here are the scissors. Obviously, they're pink. Pink is my favorite color. Let's do this. Take this thingy off. And I guess add one of these. I think I might need to cut a few more inches off of the scissors because the thing was getting stuck. So we're gonna pull out the handy dandies. Yes, these scissors are strong, baby. Yes. Okay.
It's not working. Am I supposed to touch this with my fingers? Let me just turn it off and remove the hair that's all right there. And turn it back on. Hmm. Well, the shop is now over. I feel like I'm in the military. I realized without this hair, I am still my motherfucking self. I still feel ashamed when I look in the mirror. Just bald head. <laughs> Just without hair. It really just shows me how badly society really puts image into your fucking head. Like, and how susceptible we are to things. And I'm just here to let you guys know hair no hair, ass, no ass, titties, no titties. You're still a human being. And that should be all that validates you. The fact that you are human. <sighs> don't tell anybody I said that. I don't, wouldn't want anybody to know that I'm around here spreading the truth and whatnot. Cutting off the back of my hair seems like an issue for me. It also seems like maybe I should have put down a dry towel. Molly's not doing the smart thing, apparently. Good thing there's already a dry towel down here. Just for me being dirty.
my god, I thought I was recording for a second. It seems like my head is a, it got the hot dog thing that I was afraid it wouldn't happen, but I am plus size, so if plus size men have it, why wouldn't plus size women have it? Yo, I'm really mad about the damn hot dog. Why is there a part of my head that's white? Oh my god. The fuck is that? Yo. Is that a hoop? Do I got a Yo. I'll just have to get in the shower, put the cream on my head, and then shave it. My head is so squishy. Look at all the fat on my head, yo. Okay, so fat want to gather to the scalp of my head, to my feet, to my fingers, to my toes, but don't want to go to my ass. Like, what is the problem? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just All right, so... Now we are on to the shaving part. Now here you can see everything that I was able to get off and everything that I was not. I do have like a lot of little nooks. But I see most of the hair build up. I just didn't get down here good enough. Now, I am one of those people who apparently have a lot of little nooks and crannies when I was not able to get out. They look worse when I like push my face up to and this is my bald head. I will be doing, I will be doing maybe like um, every three months checkup just to check up on the lengths, the curls, how I'm doing, if this, if I regret this or not. I <laughs> okay, anyways. Wow. Yo, I'm never going to be able to just feel my... This just feels so weird. Like, it's so tight up here. But then once you get back there, it's just like little pockets of fat. Yeah, I feel like a lot of just... A lot of stress has been taken off my shoulders. I can just get up and, you know... 
I ain't gotta focus on my hair because it takes me a long time to get ready. Even though you, most of the time I'm just wearing my poof. Doing that poofs take a long time. I gotta wet it. I gotta comb it out. I gotta put my products in it. And then I gotta slick it. Slick it right and nice and tight. You know you gotta or whatever. I will be updating you guys in three months on the progress of this here canvas. Thank you guys so much for watching my Big Chop with me. It, it's like we're on this journey together. If you guys do the Big Chop, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and send me your pictures. Tell me your story. Were you forced to do a lot of perms as a child? Was a hot comb your enemy? Let me know. I care. I want to know. Like, <laughs> and without further ado, it's been me, your girl, Isabella Aurora, and I'm out this bitch. Can't wait to see you guys in my next one.